Hi everyone, it's Sean from Affiliate Income Hero and if you're watching this video, the chances are you're trying to understand how to do launch jacking and that's exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video. I'm going to talk about the method, you know, how it works and how you can potentially make money and make more money by doing certain things. Um, launch jacking is a relatively easy method to get started with. In fact, I think it's probably the easiest way to get started to quickly drive traffic to your offers. On the flip, flip side of that, although it's easy to get started and get some traffic, it's probably not the best long-term business and I'll explain why as we go on through the video. Um, if this is your first time to my channel, my name is Sean from Affiliate Income Hero. I do reviews on products and services that help new affiliate marketers get better at what they do. Um, not all the products are great, some of them are, some of them are really, really poor and I do this because I spent too many years buying products that didn't help me at all. So I try and pay it forward and, and make you aware before you decide part of your cash. I also try to show you tactics and things around affiliate marketing to help you become a better marketer. So if you want to be notified when I put content out, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when I put content out. Now, affiliate marketing itself is a great business model, but there's so many different moving parts. Sometimes it's difficult for you to actually put them all together. And that's what I struggled with for years until more recently when I've actually been able to understand you know, what fits where and, and how it all op operates together and how you can build a, an evergreen long-term business. And if you want to learn how to do that, there is a free course which is completely beginner friendly. It will take you from a complete newbie to somebody that has a fully fledged business online. So if you want to take advantage, there's a free course in the description below. So I encourage you to go and check that out as well. So what exactly is launch jacking? Well, launch jacking is taking advantage of products or services that haven't quite yet come to market or they're very, very new. So it's it's an affiliate marketing strategy because that's predominantly where this strategy is used, uh, where a business can take advantage of a new product launch and write to review or blog post about their experience with this product. And that is the whole essence of what this actually is. So you can do that as that her particular caption said in a variety of ways you can do it via blog post which I'll show you in a second or you can do it via video on YouTube bear in mind that Google owns YouTube now so anything you try to rank for on YouTube um, it's the same premise as if you're ranking on Google. Now, it doesn't mean you're gonna rank on both, so just be aware of that, but it does give you the opportunity to do that. But effectively, the whole idea is if you have a new product, for example, if I was launching a product called Sean Seven Days uh, to Instant Profits, <clears throat> most people, if they hear about the product coming out, and we'll talk about where you go to find that out, um, would want to understand what it is and most people when they're buying a product or service will look for the keyword and then review. So these people are red hot buyers, they're interested in the product or service and they'll want to see a review of, of the product. So the idea of launch jacking is because there is no search volume, you, it's relatively easy for you to rank for that product name um, and then review. Effectively that's all you're doing. As you can see here, this is a made up fictional course, um, but there are no results in Google at all. So if you were to put a blog post up today for that particular search term, you would rank number one straight away. And that's what you're doing with launch jacking. You're taking advantage of that said product or course, and then you're producing content around it. As I said, you can do that a number of ways. You can do it via blogs. So if we search for a particular product that was launched a few months back called Embassy, uh, you can see here there's people that are ranking using um, websites. So if you have a website, you can do that. But you can also do this free using uh, other platforms like Medium, which I'll show you in a second. And then there's some videos that are actually ranked. And that's actually me that's ranked there for that particular review. I don't don't always rank on page one of Google for my video reviews, but um, sometimes it does, it does work out that way. Um, so you can either do it in your own blog. So you're taking your review of a product and talking about it to your audience um, on your own blog, or if you don't have your own blog, you can actually use products. Uh, so you can actually pl platforms like Medium, which is completely free to join, and you can do exactly the same thing, where you talk about the product, why it's a great product, um, and then you basically post that. And because there's no search volume yet, uh, you the chances are you'll rank quite well for that search term. So now we understand what launch jacking is, how do we go about finding products that we can then review and promote via our websites or via um, 
uh, YouTube. Well, you can go to places like Munchai. Now, Munchai is basically an, uh, it's, it's a database of products being launched um, on Warrior Plus, on JVZoo, sometimes on ClickBank as well for some of the larger uh, releases where everything that you could possibly want to be able to review will be listed so you can see here these products have been listed all the way out until um, crikey we're going into November December so you can see here there's a list of products that you can potentially come in and start to review for your uh, review videos so you can add these to your blogs you can add this to your YouTube channel and then if we just pick one at random so for example this one check out maximizer is being released as of I it's today 29th of uh, September you would prior to this date you would have done a video or you've written some content and then you would basically put it out there so you could do check out maximizer review and when people search for that product name because at some point they'll be getting emails from marketers and they'll see this everywhere um, they'll want to know what the product is and whether it's not whether it's worth them buying that particular product so you can see here this person's ranking it looks like it's the same person yeah the three the top three places and so on so you can see that um, they're ranking for this term uh, and that's literally the day of the launch of this product and that's the premise of you know how you do that but how do you actually get to review the product if it's not been launched yet well you can go to the vendors webpage you can actually go to warrior plus or jvzoo and actually send them um, a message asking them to allow you to have review access of the product um, or early access so you can purchase the product so that you can do a full review now places like warrior plus aren't the easiest place to be accepted as an affiliate if you haven't had any track record in other words if you've not made any sales um, I've done a video where I talk about how you can improve your chances 99% and almost get accepted all the time if you follow some simple tactics and I'll um, I'll put a link in the description below but also if you click the link in the top right hand corner of the screen you'll be taken to a video where I talk about how you make sure you put yourself across in a certain way to get accepted to these networks because they can be hard at you know at times um, the other thing you need to be aware of is how you position yourself in the marketplace so you'll see here that a lot of these products will offer you free bonuses so not only do you need to do the review you need to understand how to put bonuses together um, these ones don't talk about oh, here we go so you can, if, don't buy it before you know um, you've watched this review and then check out their free bonuses so their idea is they're making their offer the offer that you'll want to buy from and if I go to an, an earlier launch you'll see this here this person's offering six thousand dollars worth of bonuses so you know people will gravitate towards where they'll get something for free so you'll need to know a couple of things before you can use this method properly number one if you're going to do it via your website you'll need to have some basics of SEO so you'll need to understand how to write content how to optimize that content to get ranked in Google if you already have your own website I'm pretty sure you know a little bit about SEO otherwise you wouldn't have a website if you're using free methods like the medium uh, medium.com where you can just publish content for free you auto automatically get some um, kudos from Google because of the platform itself content that's constantly updated on that platform is seen by Google as fresh content so they like to rank that content but you still need to understand how to do some basic SEO um, to, to make this work and you'll also need to ha have an idea of how you can put some bonuses together what I would suggest if you're putting bonuses together is don't just use bonuses that a lot of these people will just go out and buy products that have PLR rights which adds no benefit to the user it doesn't add to the product they're trying to review bit think outside of the box slightly and actually if you review the product just see where there are some gaps where would you feel that you could add something of um, benefit to that person if they were to buy that product and try and implement it is there something where you could add some extra value effectively to that that product or service and that's where you can fill the gaps with 
bonuses. The same thing goes for YouTube. If you're looking to rank on YouTube, you, you have to understand that there are certain factors to, to ranking on YouTube. There's SEO factors you need to understand. Again, they're not difficult to understand. And that course in the description below, we talked to you all about that. It's completely free um, to help you rank better. Although if you were early enough, you could get to the number one spot very quickly. Uh, but when other marketers come on and start producing their video content, if they've been doing it longer than you, uh, the chances are they'll start bumping you down that list. So you need to know how to SEO your videos and your content properly to give you the best chance to make the most money. And the reason why people put bonuses there is because it will be 10 times your earning um, uh, capacity. Somebody offering bonuses to someone that's looking to buy products anyway because they've been notified by email, they would be more likely to buy from someone that's offering bonuses that they think or perceive as being valuable. So if you can put some really good bonuses together, um, you know, something that doesn't even cost you anything, you could offer, you know, like half an hour Zoom call with them to help them put the strategy into place, anything like that, uh, that will be perceived as high value. Um, and they're more likely to buy through your link. So I hope that makes sense. So this method is a really, really good method for you to get started. Um, if you get the bonuses right, um, and you start making sales, although the commissions on the front end of these products tend to be quite small, um, the marketers of these products are very clever at giving upsells. So the upsells are worth a lot of money and if you get somebody in on the front end and they buy the, the front end product, which is that's all your job is, is to get them to look at the sales page and buy that front end product if you offer a good bonus, they get shown upsells which could be you know hundreds of dollars and that's the reason why people use this method to drive traffic to these kinds of offers um, but there is a caveat which i said at the very beginning and i want to talk to you about that as well so what are the pros and cons of using um, launch jacking as a method to drive traffic to your offers well the pros really are the fact that these products and services aren't very well known so effectively you can rank your content relatively quickly um, on Google if you're using blogging and you know YouTube if you're going to go down the YouTube route now as long as you know some basics with regards to SEO um, you don't need to know a great deal if there's no one else ranking for that said keyword you are going to rank for it. it's as simple as that so as long as you get in front of that wave of traffic and that anticipation you know you are going to get some links uh, sorry clicks to your your links and potentially sales so from that perspective it is a great method for you to get traffic as long as you understand those basics I'll just talked about the disadvantage of using this method um, uh, there's a couple number one is you need to make sure that you do these reviews well in advance to be able to take advantage of, the, of this traffic um, the chances are a lot of the products that are actually on these platforms um, will come and go very very quickly so in other words when a launch is done for example when this launch was done um, it was done back in April the product came out you have a window of five to seven days where that product's in 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 launch mode as it were and then all of the the um the hype dies away if that makes sense so your traffic for these kinds of keywords will really taper off so that will mean a number of things number one it means that you'll can you'll have to continue to produce these reviews over and over again to be able to continue to get that traffic um, although you know you can make good money with it um, you'll also need to be producing new bonuses depending on the product that's being offered in the first instance so you'll need to know how to do that as well so you know you need to bear that in mind if you're going to go down this road the other problem is using this method and looking at munch for products is a lot of the product vendors on warrior plus and jv zoo and not all of them but a lot of the products that are sold on these products are really really poor in terms of their quality um they they overhype things and they're not necessarily going to give the user of the product everything that they say they're going to give them so you've got to you've got to weigh up whether or not you want to value your reputation as a marketer to actually make money off these products or services or whether you know you want to do it a slightly different way which i'll talk about in a second where you won't have to worry about you know sullying your reputation as an online affiliate marketer so you have to bear that in mind i'm not saying all the products are bad on um, warrior plus and jv zoo and places like that but there are a lot of products that aren't particularly great and you wouldn't want to sell them to someone you knew because the chances are they'd be coming after you and saying that product didn't actually work very well so you have to bear that in mind 
So you have to be honest with yourself and think, am I going to be selective with the kind of products that I actually um, do reviews on and be honest with my audience? Or are you in it just for, to make a quick buck? And, you know, as long as you're making sales, you're happy. It depends on you, you as an individual and what you feel is right for your audience. Um, but, you know, there are better ways of using this system. You can go after keywords that are more evergreen, keywords that are more around a specific niche or topic. And you can go to places like Clickbank or Digistore 24 where they have products that are a little bit more evergreen and what I mean by evergreen are products and services that have been around for a while and will be around for for many many years to come because it's in a niche where you're always going to have traffic so if you're in the weight loss niche for example people are always going to be searching you know how to lose weight you know how to lose so many pounds in 30 days how to you know fit in a specific dress or how to get a summer body all those sort of things so if you use the same tactic by ranking content on YouTube which is relatively easy to do once you know the basics you can then send that traffic to offers that you find on places like Clickbank and Digistore 24 which will complement what they're looking to do again I would still say check the product out make sure it's, it does exactly what it says on the tin but you'd feel much better sending um, people to those kinds of products where you know they're going to get what they expect by looking at the sales page um, secondly if you're ranking for those kind of terms you know how to lose 30 pounds in 30 days or whatever it is it could be any niche it could be golf it could be um, a particular you know sport that you're interested in um, anything to do with meditation there are products for that on these networks you can go in there and find products on services for those kind of niches it doesn't really matter what niche it is you will find something on Clickbank or Digistore 24 that you can promote to that audience once you start getting traffic for those keywords um, it's not going to die off after seven days or two weeks or three weeks because those keywords will be here for a long, long time. People are always going to want to know how to lose weight. People are always going to want to know about meditation or how to play better golf or whatever it happens to be. And if you can put that content in front of them, you can then simply in your description link to that said product and service. So I hope that makes sense. Even if you're using products yourself right now, so if you happen to have a website and you're using products like Bluehost, you can review their product, you can review their service, their customer support, and then have your affiliate link in the video description and you'll get paid for it. You get paid, I think it's $130 for an affiliate sale through Bluehost just from sending one person that decides to get their host packages. If you use an autoresponder already, you can also do the same with GetResponse and various other autoresponder services, uh, even keyword research tools. If you use keyword research tools in what you do online, you've there is an affiliate program for all these things, but these are evergreen products that will always be here and you know exactly what the product is supposed to deliver. So you could use the same tactic as, as you know ranking keywords on YouTube but from a more long term kind of um, business and that's the model that I employ and if you want to learn how to do all that and do it properly as I said this is all around affiliate marketing getting all those pieces to fit together sometimes can be really daunting um, if you want to know how to do that properly there is a course that will teach you how to do that in the description below so I encourage you to go and check that out so I hope this video is you know it's helped if it has please give me a thumbs up um, hit the notification bell and subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified when I put new content out and if you've got any questions or comments please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them and come back to you with some honest answers around launch jacking and anything with regards to affiliate marketing so I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video my name's Sean from Affiliate Income Hero and I'll speak to you soon